season nine, top 14. Let's go. Welcome back, two week break because of the Olympics. So you think he dances back on and I have waited two weeks for a Mia Michaels homage episode. Just so you know, right now I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna be a little bit of a hater in this review. So, viewer discretion is advised. So your judges were Nigel Mary and Michael Noon and Billy Trevitt, two ballet guys from the UK. It was kind of nice to have them in this episode because they hadn't seen any of the dances, so it was a fresh pair of eyes. They didn't know any of our current dancers, any of the past dancers. They didn't have any critiques. Um, so it was nice to have them on the panel, at least for this week. Um, Kat Dealey, ugliest dress you've ever worn. <laughs> it was so bad. Um, and then she kind of tells us, oh, four dancers are going home. They didn't tell us that in the last episode that four dancers were going. So it's kind of a surprise to everyone. I think had people known that, maybe they would have voted a little bit more. So I think it's a mistake on So You Think Dance parts. And it's not fair to the dancers again. I feel like the season nine dancers totally got like shafted. It's not fair. <laughs> Eliana and Cyrus started off the night with the door piece by Mia Michaels. They're all contemporary, so I don't even have to say that. Um, but the door piece. Katie and Twitch danced in season four. I've seen all the seasons, so I already knew all of the ones they were going to choose. And, you know, uh, it's super hard to kind of disassociate yourself from the first piece, because I watch all the routines all the time, because I'm like a loser. So I watch them all the time, and I'm always comparing. And for me, Cyrus, I mean, Twitch, you know, I want him to be like Twitch, and he's not. He's kind of doing his own thing. It wasn't for me. Uh, I think Eliana was better, still Katie is the girl in this piece for me, and it's just hard for me to kind of see other dancers do it. It's just, that's how pretty much I felt throughout the entire episode. This entire episode for me was just a waste. I want to see dancers dance new pieces so that I can relate them with those pieces, you know? I don't want to see them dance these. It's just facts. It's just how I feel most of us are going to feel. I don't know. <laughs> you can leave it in the comments if you disagree. But for the most majority of the episode, I was like, what are they doing? What a stupid idea. <laughs> oh my god. George and Tiffany were next. They danced uh, the Hometown Glory one with the assisted lift. Season 4, Katie and Joshua danced it first. This one's one of my all-time favorites, so I mean, it's nice to see it back, even if it's not the same dancers, I guess. Um... <laughs> I thought it was okay. The beginning part when they were walking, perfect. Um, and even when the, the, the singing started, again, perfect. After it started to die down a little bit. And, I mean, I felt like the motion wasn't as real as Katie and Joshua either. So I'm obviously comparing as I'm going to compare all the other dances to. Um, so, I mean, it wasn't the worst one. It was okay, I guess. It's just, we know what to expect. And... We're all, we all have expectations, and when you have expectations going into anything, it's going to be, I mean, a lot of the time, it's going to end up in disappointment, so. I mean, I would have preferred to have seen one new couple dance by Mia Michaels. Just one new one, versus seven old ones, and <laughs> that's just how I feel, you know? I think that's how a lot of people would, oh, I think we all would have rather seen one new Mia piece. Leave it in the comments if you disagree. Amelia and Will were next. They danced the butt dance that Randy and Evan danced in season five. Um, and I thought they were great. I don't know what the hell Nigel was talking about because I really feel like they got the characters. Will especially got the character. And I think Amelia kind of like go too. And I don't know what they were talking about. I really liked it. I thought they were almost even better than Ryan, Randy and Evan. And I was like, uh, what are they talking about? So it was a little bit disappointing to see see spoiler alert Amelia go I was a little bit shocked but upsetting Nell and Darian were next and they danced the bed dance that Carrington and Twitch dance uh, in season four and I wasn't a huge fan of this dance the first time around so I was like oh, here we go again seeing it for the second time <laughs> but it was it was good I guess you know I mean I didn't like it the first time, so I wasn't gonna really like it the second time. Although I think they did a good job. Um, I didn't. I didn't find Janelle's hair distracting at all, um, and I don't notice Darian's feet. Um, I kind of tried to notice it in his solo, but I didn't really notice his feet. I'm just not looking at people's feet when they dance. Um, but 
I think it was okay, you know? I, it's not my favorite Mia piece at all by any means, but I thought they did well. Audrey and Matthew were next. They danced Mia's timepiece with the flowers floating everywhere. Um, it was about her father. Season 3, Nate, Lacey and Neil danced this. Um, first time around, I didn't like it because I personally think that there's... I'm gonna sound like such a jerk. I know it. I know I'm gonna sound like such a jerk, but I personally think there's not much dancing in this. It's a lot of skipping through flowers and throwing them around. And, and I get that the piece is very personal and emotional for a lot of people, <laughs> but I don't really like the piece that much. What do you want from me? You know, it's just personal preference. Uh, and this time around was really kind of no different. I thought, um, I don't think that, I thought it was okay, you know? I mean, not my favorite piece. I, they danced it almost identical to the first time. I didn't think that there was much difference, to be honest. I thought maybe Neil might have been a little bit more fatherly and Matthew maybe a little bit colder. But regardless, I didn't like this routine anyway, so whatever. Whitney and Keon were next. They danced the infamous bench routine that Heidi and Travis did in season two with the sunflower on the bench. And obviously everybody knows this one. And uh, how do you even try to compare yourself to Travis and Heidi who did this first? It's just really hard. Luckily, Whitney has the same color hair as Heidi. Um, Keon has completely different skin complexion than Travis. <laughs> doesn't matter though um i feel like they got really close i really feel like they were probably the closest to perfection and i mean this routine was just so it's almost untouchable and i mean they almost got there and so i guess that's respectable and this is a good couple so finally cole and Lindsay ended off the night with mia's addiction piece kayla and kupono dance this um in season five and I really feel like Cole brought something different. He wasn't like uh, Capono, who's very like sinister and like, you know, he was more like creepy and like psychotic. And it was it was different. It was his own take on it. And we all know that Cole, when he gets a character, is gonna go with it. So he committed to it. it was good. Lindsay, who isn't a contemporary dancer, and Kayla is a contemporary dancer, was at her level, and I was impressed with her. So um, this was kind of nice to see just because it was a little bit different it wasn't obviously the same music and same clothing everything but same choreography but they added their own little spin on it which i appreciate so thanks so now it's time for your results only two people are going to be kept amelia and janelle and Lindsay were the bottom girls and then the bottom guys were george darian and matthew and i was like oh my gosh what are they gonna do there's so many good dancers in the bottom i was like oh my gosh getting anxiety and if nigel made everybody dance which was great to see finally all everyone got to do a solo um the, George's solo. Oh my gosh, George's solo. I was like, whoa, wow, wow. How do you let him go after that amazing solo? I'm not a huge George fan, but I was like, holy. Um, Amelia's solo, I liked. It was calm. It, she took her time. Uh, Janelle solo, belly dancing, something we normally don't see, so I really like that. I would have liked to have, have seen more of her own like belly dancing. And Lindsay's solo for ballroom was pretty good too, you know, ballroom solos can get repetitive, but uh, man, I thought she did good too. Darian solo, great. Matthew solo, so good. So I was like, uh-oh, what are they going to do? And then they let go Amelia and Janelle. I kind of expected Janelle, but I was really kind of disappointed with Amelia. They kept Lindsay, which I was happy about, but I, I don't know. A lot of people might not like Amelia. I really liked her just because she reminds me a lot of people of people that I know and that I'm friends with so I can see myself being friends with her and she's she's quirky and she's different and I like that I like that in people so I was a little bit sad to see her go and, and I'm sad that she can't go on tour because she and Will had some pretty good routines and the same thing goes for Matthew who was let go and Darian who was also let go Matthew is not going to be going on tour which sucks because I'm sure a lot of people who want to go on tour or want to go to the tour 
um, would want to see that Titanic PC dance with Audrey, and now he's not going to be able to go. So what the heck is going to happen there? I don't know if they were thinking about that when they were letting people go. But I was like, oh, oh, that's like a huge piece that people loved, and now you let him go. You're going to lose ticket sales <laughs> in my head. I'm thinking that. But they kept George, which I thought was probably the best decision just because of his solo. Um, but I do prefer Matthew. So personal thing. I hope they never, <laughs> I hope they never do this with any other choreographer because I'm just going to get so angry that they wasted such a good opportunity for an episode, you know? They could have done some new things. There's nobody who's going to be looking uh, up on YouTube, oh, I want to see um, the bench routine that Keanu and Whitney did, you know? No, it's going to be Travis and Heidi all the time, all the time, you know? It's just <laughs> how it is. So, <laughs> I hope you feel how I feel, because <laughs> if you don't, you're going to just be mad at me and think I'm just a hater, which I'm not, because if, if you see um, a lot of my reviews, I'm not really a hater, just this episode, I was like, <laughs> not happy. So, leave a comment, tell me how you feel, make me feel like I'm not the only one who is feeling like this, please. Let me know what you think, subscribe if you liked <laughs> watching this um like comment do you know do that stuff click click it's easy um and yeah <laughs> i don't know what is wrong with me today i feel a little bit weird different like i'm like i don't know what is going on um 